The UCI's approval of testing disc brakes in the Pro Peloton opens the way for the technology to be introduced permanently for the 2017 World Tour. The sports governing body and the World Federation of Sporting Goods Industry announced that each World Tour team will be allowed to use disc brakes at two events of their choice during August and September this year. Reservations about the brakes have long existed within the peloton and the logistical hurdles that have to be overcome have slowed their progress. Technology in sport is traditionally led from the front, but in this case, disc brakes are already available on consumer bikes and are filtering upwards. We started two, two years ago to restart the production of mountain bikes. And it's very important to, to know this was, this was good because for the mountain bike, we can also the road bike with these brakes. They are very, they're very close. Yeah. But uh, this, this is normal. You need to create a, a, the right frame for the big brakes too. But but the designs are quite the same. Approved for competition use in both mountain biking and cyclocross, the road racing fraternity has long been reticent about the effectiveness of disc brakes in the peloton. In the pro ranks, I would say it's. It's not quite as cut and dry as should pros have them because it will aid their stopping power or not. The, the thing that makes a pro a pro, one of the things that makes a pro a pro is that they know how to use their brakes effectively no matter what type of terrain they're on. I certainly think that it will, it will allow some guys in the pro peloton to be more confident going down a hill, but that's when you sort of get into what the general feeling is among the pros about disc brakes as a whole which I think is pretty split depending on who you ask. So the first step is like we bring riders on the bike to train on it. And then we will have intensive feedback sessions and we will listen carefully. I will talk to our technical suppliers obviously, like what do they think and, and how to implement. And then hopefully we jump on the, on, on the race bikes and we'll give it a serious try in, uh, in races, in selective races. Uh, when they change it, uh, you need also change everybody to this way. Not uh, only a couple of riders, a couple of teams. But I think you must do it in uh, the, the whole peloton. Testing will continue in 2016, and if, in the words of the UCI, the experience is satisfactory, disc brakes will be officially introduced to the World Tour in 2017.